How's it going, people? It is Liam Carlson here, and we're on the penultimate episode of Lucifer, so... Yeah. Ever. So, I'm sad. Uh, but yeah, this is episode number nine of season six. Put those numbers together, and what do you get? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to, okay? It's Lucifer. It would be a missed opportunity otherwise, so yeah. No, but, um... I'm really dreading coming into this episode as well as the next episode because this is it. We're on the final two episodes um, of Lucifer entirely and um, I'm just going to miss this show so much because it's just been a really, really wonderful show. And um, yeah, it seems like um, things might be a bit dire uh, at the minute with, of course, ha um, Earth having a bit of a hellfire going on at the minute. Um, but not just that um of course there is this um uh, we had that uh, moment at the end of the last episode that um Amenadel knows why the world is um being in a bit of a hellfire at the minute so like i said i have a bad feeling that this is going to entail with lucifer despite objection um he has to be god otherwise the ones he will care about and uh, seven billion others or how many uh, people are on that earth um they might meet their doom so and it's not something that Lucifer would be able to stomach. And it would be a really nice full circle, like with him being a ruler of hell, um, he, rather than seeing people being, well, um, um, suffer and potentially die, he does something sacrificial, but does it um, because of um, his heart at the end of the day. So... Yeah, I, I just have a bad feeling about where this is going to go. And it just comes at a time where relationships seemingly have been mended, um, especially with Rory. Because um, there was that vulnerability showcased to her to prove that he that Lucifer does care for her. Um, of course, this season has been a tirade of um, Rory thinking that Lucifer's never cared, um, hence why he... Uh, pisses off in her future or her past i guess in in the future but her past timey wimey awesome but um yeah i think the vulnerability was a testament to how if lucifer has a choice he would stay and um watch rory grow up and i think we know that deep in our heart it's just of course uh rory has been too um i guess you could say stubborn to realize this um but the vulnerability is uh, the proof on the uh, the proof that she needs, really. So, yeah. But uh, I am really, really, um, I'm really concerned about how this episode's going to set things up for the final episode. Um, but I'm excited either way. This is episode nine of season six of Lucifer. Let's go. I thought you didn't allow pets. What the hell is this shit? Your pet is a lion? Come to Papa. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Our siblings are answering prayers and they're making term problems, so we have time to figure things out. Now, if you don't mind, it has been the longest day ever. So. Lucy, we need to fix this immediately. They need we to listen to a god. Next. I'm sure everything will be fine. Just say what's the worst that could happen. Vincent Lamec. After what May said. Wait. Felt like you were the key to my kill. Is this the son of a the bitch that killed Dan? Come on! Stop! Come back! The door ain't closed, he's gonna escape! Come on, guys, please somebody hear me! He's gonna escape! I hope the lion eats you! Dan! Can you not possess his body? Yeah! Ghost can ah. Oh. Oh, yeah! Yes! Love that shot. Today's the day. What day? August 4th. One year. Rory says you disappear. Oh, no. So I will see you in a few hours. And then tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll be here. Okay. Not worrying about the future. Great. I would just stay here, to be fair. If I had a date with Destiny, 
I would just be like, you know what? Screw Destiny. I'm just sitting in my room all day. <laughs> oh, this is nice though. I love it. Get ready for the best TV show you have ever seen, Bones. Doctor Who. Oh, okay. The original? Yeah. Yeah, right. Wait, they remade it? From my time, kicks your bones as ass. Impossible. Tell me everything. Okay. Okay. Well, until I saw this, I'm pregnant. Holy shit! Oh my god! It's really happening. Yeah. She's inside you right now. Fate automatically wins. Let me know when you choose us. Uh, it's not fair that Lucifer's, like, especially with God on his shoulders. This is not something he could just be like, hmm. It's a bitch. I decided against it months ago when I realized I wanted to stay here on Earth, living amongst humanity with my child. And that's what Lucifer wants, really. Well, who says God has to rule from heaven? Well, that's how my father did it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but can we not bend the rules? New God, new rules? Maybe there's a better way. Yeah. I hope not, but there is a possibility. And since I disappeared from your life before without warning, I don't want to do that again. Oh, so much growth though. Well, is there anything I can do to help? I'm in to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Your oh, you- Miss Lopez. And if there were more people like you, then the world would be a better place. The world would be a far better place. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was going to say, can he not possess him? He possessed him! He possessed him! <laughs> Yes! Oh. What the heck, bro? <laughs> you saved your life. Look, dude, I don't know what kind of drugs you're on, but just just get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going. I'm going, okay. This is gonna be so good. Oh, false of habit, right? Oh, man. <laughs> That's what I truly desire. Oh, <laughs> that is so and beautifully I put. Of a better angel for the job. I couldn't either. Congratulations, Amanda Deal. Or should I say, God? Amanda God. Well, it's not official yet. You know, I never told you this, brother. But of all our siblings, I am glad. It's you I spent all this time on Earth with. Oh, yeah. you are my favorite brother, brother. Oh, favorite something. Oh. And I will miss you. Oh, my God. Miss me. We'll never be even. <laughs> this is, I'm going to miss these you are two. my best friend, Mace. <laughs> and I just wish I'd always treated you that way before. Before what? Oh. Before now. No matter what, you will always have a piece of me. It's so bad. I, 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 
Did you just say bracelet, bros? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. It's me. <laughs> Stop with the emotional punches to my that. heart. Think about what we do with our final hours and more about who we spend them with. So, Daniel, while you oh, have this, this is... physical form, maybe you should think about who you want to spend your final hours with. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. My family. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Would you consider spending the rest of the day with me and our daughter? Don't do this shit. How can I say? We just had things here. It'd be great. No worries. Whatever it is that makes me go, that it could never be your fault. I'm so sorry I left you. Oh. He also told me that you were the best kid a dad could ever ask for. Oh, no, 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 no. How kind. A little rebellious at times. <laughs> Shit, no. But still, before he could be a good role model to you. <laughs> dad, you deserve. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. He was the best dad ever. The best. And he could hear ever. that. Oh, he tried to be. But he'll always be with me. Proud of me. Just like I'm proud of him. Oh, this is. So take back what you said. I should get back. See you later, Pilliams. <laughs> No, Dad, you got it, you got it! It was Trixie, of course, as I said! <sighs> Please could have been like, HOLD IT! <sighs> oh, no. He's gonna be resp- Oh, no. Oh my god! Is it bigger on the inside? It's a bit thrown together. I only had a day. Oh, no, it's... <laughs> it's amazing. That shit's surely bigger on the inside. The door will only unlock once the day is finally over. And time goes I'm just really worried about what's gonna happen. Whilst they're having this nice, wholesome moment. Just leave Dexter alone, please. The day is over. I, you're here. <laughs> the clock's an hour too fast. I'm here. <laughs> Who cares about fate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh no. Rory. Right, try not. That wasn't Rory, that was Lamech. Yeah, oh my shit. What? She's holding a hostage. And he wants me to come and get her. That bastard's gonna be responsible for Lucifer disappearing. Say it. Ten and swans. There we go. That bastard, that son of a bitch, that piece of vermin who killed Dan, who I hate so much, is going to be responsible for Lucifer disappearing. I don't know if I, I don't think I've hated a character so much on Lucifer, but that piece of shit deserves the worst kind of hell. Because he killed Dan. And obviously that was very, very 
uh, distressing for us. Not just that, though, but he's look. it looks like he's going to be responsible for Lucifer's uh, disappearance. So, though it is a new day, so it, it could be that the stars are aligning, but they don't, well, I guess you could say glimmer, even though this is not a glimmering situation, but it's a new day. So, maybe fate can be more open-ended. If this son of a bitch is the reason why Lucifer disappears, he will probably go down in the history books as the most hated character on Lucifer. He is, he is just a piece of shit. So now we set things up for the final part of Lucifer. We've got one more episode left to go, and I am really worried about how things are going to go down. Um, because it seems like destiny is about to be met. But like I said, I do feel that with a new day starting, as opposed to when Lucifer disappeared... Um, yeah, it, 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 I don't know. Fate could take a bit of a uh, a, a turn in direction because um, it's a brand new day, new rules, right? So um, we'll just have to wait and see what does happen. I just hope that Lamech doesn't become the catalyst to why Lucifer has to disappear. But I just feel like this final episode is going to provide a heartbreaking conclusion, but one that Lucifer must be at peace to, especially to stop all the angels from, from their shenanigans and whatnot to what's been causing a bit of a ruckus. So, I don't know, but yeah. Thing is, though, is Dan going to be feeling a bit of guilt once he does ascend up there? Because, um, yeah, he might have just damned Lucifer to his fate when Lucifer thought, okay, well, freedom, right? So, um, yeah, I'm, and, and not just that, though, but, um, of course, uh, Rory, she's in danger. Um, how Lamech got to Rory, yeah, because Rory could just bloody, um, yeah, slice his head off if, if she wanted to. Although I do kind of hope, because I'm still not over what happened with Dad, um, and I am not going to be, I, I, I'm not going to be over it if uh, he is responsible for yeah, I know there might be people who are going to be saying, yeah, it was Dan's fault because he should have, what he should have done once he realized was like, he should have had a knife on him and then just himself um, once he saw the light. Run to a safe distance, stab Lamech in the heart, bingo. Um, but I think there's all of, I mean, it, it would just be a, like a bit worrying bringing a knife um, to Trixie anyway um, although she wouldn't know but still notion um, but I think it's also more so to do with um, the fact that he has spent so long in this purgatory state and this is a this is literally a glimmer of light not just figuratively literally um, so, you know, one can't really blame him for being a bit um, overjoyed and neglecting about the fact that once he, his ghost form leaves Lebec's body, then that might be a problem. So, yeah. But we'll just have to wait and see. But, yeah. Oh, this episode, I was not ready for... Um, yeah, I was not ready for it to be this emotional, to be fair, like, especially with the goodbyes, um, and, yeah, it was just really, really emotional, like, seeing everyone's, um, like, like, seeing everyone's reaction to, to Lucifer saying his goodbyes to them, it was almost like, um, as well for us, a, uh, a goodbye to the characters that we know and love, because, um, we've gotten attached to all of these characters and it seems like this was like more so the calm before the storm, but also um, it gives us a good opportunity to um, 
approach these characters and say thank you really like lucifer does it but on on behalf of us um but like there is a, a double meaning not just for him but for us as well so yeah and it was it was really really beautiful like all of the um it wasn't just the messages but also just the strength that came from those messages like lucifer opening that foundation for for ella that was really really beautiful um and how them two were on good terms again after carol did help her out um so there was a bit of clarity there um and we kind of got a double whammy, I guess, with Linda in the last episode, but also this episode as well. So, uh, and she was really, really an amazing therapist. But I think the ones that really got me was um, Rory and, no, Amenadel, Rory and Maze, um, especially, because... I gotta say, the um, idea that um, Amenadel was happy to take um, Lucifer's place once um, he realised all the shebang that was going on with Lucifer, deciding to just, pff, God. Um, yeah, and, and realising there could be a new system in place, right? So, not just that, though, but, you know, had to give over looks. Um, but I think the message... Um, with Lucifer and Amenadel was just, yeah, really powerful. That was, I think that was the one that really kicked me in the nuts um, in terms of the emotion. Because you just reflect back on where they started and now you have Lucifer saying, you're my favourite brother. And I just, I, I, I was dead at that point. So, um... And, you know, just just the way he... Just that proudness that comes from Lucifer to Amenadel. It's just really beautiful. Like, yeah. You just reflect on their relationship. And, yeah. Um, they're, at the end of the day, you can see that aspiration to be like Amenadel, really. And it's really beautiful to see how far they've come in, 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 in six seasons. Like, they've had their tussles. They, they've had that, um, well, it, it, it's not just that aspiration as well. Because, of course, Amenadel was um, uh, God's favourite son. And Lucifer could just say with confidence, you're my favourite brother. Um, and it's, it's just really, really powerful. So... Um, yeah, I just really love that, of course, um, discussion with Amenadel and, and Chloe as well, when uh, Amenadel, um, arose the, um, uh, new concept, basically, on how we can, we can, um, you know, bend the rules of being God a bit and him deciding to take that place, um, and, you know, I'm glad we're getting, we have been getting more Chloe and Amenadale scenes um, lately, not just last season, but this season as well. Um, especially with Chloe, of course, on the, um, like, offensive uh, in terms of Lucifer uh, arguing about free will, etc. And, and how it's still a thing. Time loops, they don't matter in this. Um, you you made a decision, and that's it. You you have to stick to it. There's 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 no point dwelling on the inevitability that you're going to go because if you have a choice, you're going to stick to it, right? Stick to your guns. Um, so I I mean I can understand why like Chloe might be a, a, might have been a bit miffed in regards to um, Lucifer deciding. Well, Lucifer thinking that there might be this inevitability and he's going to get his goodbye messages out the way now, just in case. But it is a case of you just don't know what is going to happen. Um, and, I mean, obviously there's been this fight to um, to stick the middle finger up against Lucifer's disappearance. You get that. But I think the worst thing is regret as well. And um, Chloe does not want that again. So, yeah, but... Obviously, like like we've seen Lucifer disappear and, and Chloe's just been heartbroken and now we're in the situation where Lucifer is fighting, is, is not wanting to disappear, but he is fighting that battle as well with uh, inevitability in mind. And Chloe's just like, don't listen to it. Just live your life and um, just pretend that 
the idea of your disappearance doesn't exist. So I do get it, though, because um, they fought so hard to establish there is this freedom, there is this free will when it comes to Lucifer and the subject of his disappearance. It's just, you don't want to live in regret, but obviously we know with Chloe not be, uh, wanting Lucifer to make a, 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 a message to her that it becomes too real so it's just a it, it's it's just a sticky um dilemma isn't it because um you don't want to live in that regret but you also don't want to make it real you want to just think of um the idea of lucifer disappearing as just some bullshit that needs to just flush down the toilet but like I said, it's regret and what you're going to do. Like, and I think that was probably the, the thing that really uh, traumatized Chloe potentially, like in the future, is that regret really. So, but also the inevitability became inevitable. So, uh, but I want to believe things are going to change this time around. So time loops can be broken. Time can be rewritten. Okay. Um, so, yeah, but I gotta say, the idea of Chloe being pregnant in this episode was, to, I, for some odd reason, it should have struck me, but I wasn't coming into these final episodes expecting Chloe to announce her pregnancy. So, for it, it's odd, um, but you know what, it was so great. And then I thought Lucifer was gonna propose to her, but fuck, yeah, the, the writers bloody baited us. It's not fair. Like, this episode was already... Like, obviously, there would be more emotional moments later in the episode. But when you... Uh, when it comes all culminated, you don't need a fake proposal. Because I'm already going through the ringer emotionally. So, yeah. But no, in all seriousness, um, it was really great. Like, with um, the family day out, that was really beautiful. Um, I will say, I'm assuming angels are okay. Like, uh, celestial, um, I guess, babies. You could drink or whatever. Because Chloe did have a bit of drink while she was pregnant. And I'm like, hmm... Don't know about that one. Um, so I'm assuming angels have the benefits of, um, you know, um, yeah, or celestial, should I say. They have the benefits of um, not being affected, um, you know, grow growing in the womb um, by alcohol or any other kind of dangerous substance out there. So, because I did thought that was a bit off. So um, I would say just watch this be apple juice, but Chloe was acting a bit, Wee. so yeah. But um, yeah, the family day out was really, really beautiful. Um, not just that though, but the dad, uh, the, the dad daughter day out was just really incredible as well. And very wholesome given the fact that both Rory and Lucifer have made amends and, um, uh, she knows that Lucifer loves her and um, just everything. And they just had that day out to themselves, which was a really, really beautiful, nice montage. So, yeah, I just really appreciate that so much. Um, but, yeah, the, the, the just the three or four, I guess, with uh, little Rory growing in the womb. Um, it was really, really beautiful. And uh, I just really loved it. But I got to say, the message to Rory was um, just very, very impactful. Um, especially when you consider the fact that um, Rory's been having to deal with these issues all of her life regarding her father, about her uh, about her being abandoned and uh, Lucifer making some kind of assurance to her. Like, there's already a patch-up between their relationship, but he wants to... Like, it, it, like it, here's the thing. If you're going to disappear, you've got to assure her that it's not your fault. Um, and that he's gonna fight with every fiber of his being to make sure that he stays in her life um and i think the message was um you know if if the vulnerability was an affirmation enough the message that lucifer it's it, it's a cherry on top of the cake really um but you see in his eyes that he is so sorry that Rory had to go through all of that and um, she can have that assurance that he will do anything and, and this is what we're seeing right now um, with Lucifer deciding to go and meet Twatface that's his name 
Um, and um, see if Destiny's going to get met because he's going to fight for his family. So even if it means his disappearance, he fights for his family. So yeah, but um, it was a really, really um, beautiful message, especially considering that both Rory and Lucifer's stories have um, similarities. And one thing I just realized until this episode was uh, Trixie kind of has that in a sense with her father leaving and uh, this pain uh, being caused. But we'll get onto that in a bit. Um, but yeah, um, there is that nice assurance that you're not a monster. And um, yeah, like I said, there have been no similarities there. And it's really, really nice for uh, Lucifer to... Um, already solidify that. Um, I can I, I, I guess. I wouldn't say reunion because, of course, they never got united at first because he's been out of her life all of, the, all of her life. But um, this nice connection, it, he he's able to solidify that. Um, when it was already established with that vulnerability, with that nice message. Um, so yeah, but it was just really, really great stuff. But. Yeah, um, I just really, really thought this episode was great, though. Um, the maze bit was really beautiful as well. Like, um, her being so thankful for what, um, Lucifer did with, with him bringing Maze here. Or Constantine, whatever you, way you want to look at it. But, um... Lucifer provided so much for Maze, and I was so hoping they would hug. They did. I was so thrilled. Um, but yeah, they they ma managed to hug, and uh, it was just so emotional because, of course, Maze is not one to to um uh, cry. Although she has been getting a bit more emotional, of course, uh, ever since the whole soul dilemma came in about. Um, but just seeing her break down, knowing what's gonna happen with lucifer is just it was just crushing um and the best friend to talk yeah really really amazing um but i just really thought that the uh, message with maze was something that that i needed like the the only kicker for me out of all of this is no goodbye message from lucifer to trixie i'm not sure if they're gonna save that for the next episode if lucifer does disappear but i'm not Mm. no that's not happening um but yeah um i really did feel like um it was a really really a, a nice emotional um moment with maze and lucifer and um you know there's always been that um bond with with lucifer and and maze and they, you know they might have had their differences but as he said, best friend. And that the idea that she just gave him a knife, uh, one of her knives, was just impactful. Um, because obviously we know how much they mean to Baze. And yeah, so. Um, and the fact that th whatever happens, they will always have that bond, that friendship. And yeah. So, but it was just really heartbreaking when you see Maze's face and you just see her have that acceptance. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I think um, out of Lucifer's departures, it was always going to, it was going to be um, Amenadel, Rory and Maze that broke me uh, the most. Um, especially just given the connection with Maze and Lucifer and, um, yeah, so, but, shall we get on to the other thing that really fucked me over in terms of, um, messages, I guess, that was sent and received, um, and that was Dan, um, well, I gotta say, I did like Lucifer's message to Dan, considering, uh, and, and the fact that he brought bracelet, uh, bracelet bros back into the equation was just perfect, but um, Dan just help, uh, being helped out by Lucifer was just amazing and wonderful and really, really, like, considering the banterous relationship that um, they had, Lucifer's just, I, I would say, very, very thankful. Uh, and that's the thing with these goodbyes. They were just really, really amazing. And um, I would say that, um, obviously, some... Um, like Dan, 
there's been more of a punchback reception, but um, it, I feel like with these messages, they really do solidify how impactful um, these characters have had on Lucifer's life and how um, he uh, is, uh, how Lucifer is very thankful for the people he's met. So, um, like we even saw when Dan died, Lucifer was distraught to the point where he traumatized Lamech. Um, instead of just killing him, he made sure he would suffer for the rest of his life. So, and I just hope that Lamech gets to suffer tenfold. Yeah, because let's just let's just put it like this: he's already killed Dan. Um, which really pissed off Lucifer. And he's not doing himself any favours by kidnapping... Ro it's it's like this guy is asking to be dead. He is what... He is basically... Set, like that message at the end of the last episode, it was like, you know what? As if I don't already wish to be dead enough, uh, I'm wanting you to just... Um, dig a little deeper in that grave because I kidnapped your daughter. It's it's like this guy is has a severe death wish because he was very, very... I, I don't know if it's, you know, subjective to say fortunate to be left alive because he was uh, dealt with something way worse, I would say. And now he is just... He is just prodding the bear. The bear's already pissed off and you're deciding, hey, he's angry. Let's piss him off even further uh, by kidnapping his daughter. So good luck with that, Lamech. You're going to need it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, the dance scene was just um, with Trixie was just really impactful. It had to be Trixie, the root of his guilt, um, especially with the fact that... Um, especially with the fact that you've got this idea of um Trixie growing up without a father and um Trixie not uh like there is just this heartache this agony that he thinks that he's failed her um but knee but hearing all of that giving that, that clarity giving that wave of 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 um of assurance is 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 something really really impactful really beautiful and of course, Trixie was going to make me ball the most, wasn't she? I mean, she did when Dan died. Um, but yeah, as if I wasn't already punched all over enough with the farewells that Lucifer distributed to his friends uh, and Chloe, of course. Well, Chloe didn't want to hear it, but still, it was really, really impactful, especially with everything. Um, so yeah, as if all that all um already wasn't bad enough, then Dan and Trixie really did it for me. Foy. And I really loved that assurance, that really uh, amazing moment. Granted, it was a bit odd, of course, like with him, uh, with Dan possessing Lamech's body, because obviously face up the murderer, yeah. But I really thought it was a really genius idea for the camera to just take focus off Lamech and focus on Dan. Kind of like um, um, what happened earlier this season. Um, so, yeah, in terms of the, the nice camera work with Dan. Um, so, yeah, uh, it really does... Uh, like, it doesn't make it awkward whatsoever. Um, like, y if you want a scene to punch that well, you can't have the full episode uh, the full scene be focused on the man who murdered dan so yeah i'm really glad that they decided to just to kevin so yeah um but yeah it was really really uh powerful that um dan was there to hear trixie admit that um yeah dan has made his mistakes but um i am proud of who he is and ha how much he is um you know done to rectify them and it's like i said there are similarities with trixie's stories and uh with trixie's story um with dan and rory with lucifer with the fact that both characters have lost their uh, parents and they are both wanting to do something to uh, to try and rectify everything because there's this, this guilt in regards to their child with dan uh we found out in this episode the root of his guilt stemmed from from uh trixie and him being able to have that clarity that catharsis that trixie 
idolizes him so much. Even with the mistakes, he is human. And yeah. And with Lucifer, um, there is this guilt that he abandoned Rory. And um, yeah, so... I really love that parallel that um, is is established there. But um, yeah, it was really, really beautiful. And um, we just find out in this episode that, of course, Dan um, was beating himself up because of the fact that... Um, because of the fact that he wasn't really a good role model and that he, he let down his own... Uh, like someone that meant the world to him. And now with Trixie admitting that unknowingly to Dan, there is this there is this weight off his shoulders, and now he can ascend. So I do hope we get a bit of a focus on Dan next episode as he waltzes into heaven, because I do want to see a bit of guilt there. Because uh, yeah, although like I said, he at the moment I guess you could say um, so yeah, but yeah, it was really really beautiful and. Yeah, loved that moment with Trixie and Dan. Got me really good. But yeah, the uh, goodbye messages and just everything in this episode was really, really perfect. Pardon me. And uh, really beautiful. And I am really worried about the next episode. I do have a bit of hope that with it being a new day, maybe fate's going to change a bit. Because it's the day after he was supposed to disappear. And, you know, I, I, I do want to have a bit of a, a, like, I don't know, a bit of tricky buggers going on in regards to Lucifer confronting, um, yeah, confronting uh, Lamech um, at the place he was destined to disappear. Um, because I feel like um, if you're going to, like, it's a new day. It's literally that. So, yeah. It's not like Crisis on Infinite Earths where things fudge up in the timeline. And, well, it, it kind of, I maybe it is, I'm not sure, especially with the fact that Rory's been captive. But um, I do want some kind of, like, nice, uh, like, if Lucifer is to disappear, I do like a bit of nice explanation rather than just something ham-fisted. Oh, it's only been a few minutes after midnight or whatever. I don't know. Um... So, yeah, um, we'll just have to wait and see what does happen. But I do have hope that Lucifer's not going to disappear. So we're going to have a happily ever after. Nothing bad's going to happen. I'm going to be happy. That's what's going to happen. Okay? Okay. Um, it's it, it, it's the way it's going to go. So <laughs> I'm in denial. Don't care. But, no, really beautiful episode. Really emotional. Wasn't ready to... Um, be needing the tissues to be fair but it was a really beautiful episode so i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles <laughs>